Hi guys, I'm Abby. And I'm Alexander. And I'm Patty. And today we're talking about Country, Country Club. Club. Country Club is the celebration of camaraderie at the end of color games. We spend extra time outdoors hanging out with friends, singing songs in the pool, making really cool tie-dye, eating lots of yummy food outdoors, and sometimes we even watch a movie in the pool. Country Club is all about celebrating teamwork and friendship. Yeah, and you don't necessarily need a pool to celebrate Country Club. You can just do it by playing games, watching movies, eating food outdoors, singing songs, or just splashing around in some other body of water or a bathtub. It's just important that you have fun and relax in the best way that you can think of. Come on, join us for our Country Club. What up? <laughs> Yo, it's me, your boy. <laughs> hey. Now that we have a break in the action, let's talk about safety. If you're planning on doing country club at home in your own pool, make sure that you have an adult supervising when you're going out and having fun. If you're going out to a body of water, perhaps a lake or a beach, make sure you're wearing a PFD. Uh, or making sure that you have an adult or a lifeguard present at all times. Just make sure you're having fun while also being safe. See you guys. Hi everyone, I hope you had a wonderful color week and had enjoyed playing all the games. And so typically to kind of break it up, we do country club and we have to eat at country club, so I'm gonna be showing you a typical camp dinner. So in the past, we've done stuffed tacos or taco salad, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own taco salad at home. So I'm gonna start off by making some fresh guacamole. And in this bowl, I have just one avocado and some diced tomato. And then I'm gonna do two scoops of the salsa. And then for seasoning, I have minced garlic. And so for the seasonings, I don't really measure it. I kind of just do it to taste, but I would say start off by doing of the minced. I would start off by doing it in teaspoon increments if you're just doing one avocado. And then I always add salt and pepper towards the end. And then I'm gonna use, sprinkle on some taco seasoning in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a couple shakes of lime juice. And I would say all these are taste to taste. I personally like a lot more of the taco seasoning than the lime juice, but you could do more lime juice if you'd like, just it's totally up to you. And then I'm gonna start by smashing and kind of mixing it together and really making it into the guacamole.
So this is the taco seasoning. Right, and so once you've kind of given it a good smashing and a good mixing, you've got your guacamole for your taco salad. And now next, I'm going to go and make shrimp. So normally you could do ground beef is normally what's on the tacos, but you could do chicken, you could do beans, you could do any kind of fish. I'm gonna do shrimp today. Um, so I'm gonna go cook that next and I'll come back and put everything together. Right now that the guacamole is finished, I'm gonna cook the shrimp. I've heated the stove to about halfway, medium setting. Gonna do a gallop of butter. Now I'm going to add the shrimp. And for seasoning for this, I'm just going to do the taco seasoning. I'm going to let this cook for three minutes and flip it over.
Hi everyone, I'm back from making my shrimp. And that's when you could have made your ground beef, whatever choice of meat, maybe fish, um, chicken, anything like that, or anything else you wanted to put on it. So I put some chips on a plate. So for taco salad, you may normally do lettuce, but my lettuce didn't quite look so good. So I'm gonna do just chips today but you could of course do any choice of lettuce that you prefer. So I would also, I personally will not use cheese, but you could also put cheese right on the chips or melt cheese. Um, but now I'm gonna put the fresh guacamole that we made earlier right onto the chips. All right, now that I have the guacamole on the chips, I'm gonna add my shrimp, and this is where you could add whatever you made. And if you didn't wanna do anything, you could just do like the guacamole or something like that. You could do that as well. This is totally up to you, how you wanna make it. You're making it at home, so have fun. So I'm just gonna put the shrimp And just spread it around and then I'm also gonna add some salt extra salsa on top if you like to use sour cream or maybe this is when you want to put some cheese on it or maybe you want to top it off with lettuce you could do that as well All right, and now you've made your own taco salad. So here you go. Have a fun country club. Bye guys. Welcome to ye old bathtub. <laughs> here at our country club, you can also enjoy the fabulous amenities of the swimming pool. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Wear your sunglasses and your cap to keep from burning. Also, don't bring your phone or your camera into the pool. You know, unless it's got like a waterproof thing going on, but still, take some time to relax. Hello and welcome back to the amenities of our country club. Also included in your membership are free doggy pets and kisses. For the whole entire day, you get to hang out with this little animal. And she has no problem hanging out with you all day. She sits and listens to everything you have to say, even if she doesn't care about what you have to say. But as you can see, she's having a great time. Great time. Also, at our country club, we have three more dogs available to hang out with all day. We have her, who is a Boston Terrier Chihuahua. We have an Alaskan Malamute, a Rottweiler mix, and a Schnauzer. 
who, if you like to not be left alone all day, she will definitely be all up in your space. <laughs> all right, well, let's take a tour of the rest of what we have to offer. Hello, sir. Can you tell us your name and a little bit about you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Well, Mr. Chase is a little shy. This is Mr. Chase and he is our a chef. Can you tell us what you're making at least? Uh, taco casserole. Alright. And uh, what ingredients are in taco casserole? There's uh, ground beef, black beans, corn, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and garden rotini. That's delicious looking. Alright, and what else goes with it? Uh, we're going to put corn, uh, not corn, we're going to put cheese on top, and then you just put it in the oven let it bake. Alright. Can you tell us for how long it goes in the oven? Uh, 375 for 12 minutes. Okay. How long have you been cooking for? <laughs> 24 years. Wait, but you're, <laughs> you're older than that. 29, but I've been cooking my whole life. Oh, okay. You can't cook as a baby? I wasn't allowed to use the stove at that age. <laughs> Are you allowed to use the stove now? Barely. <laughs> Alright, so is it almost ready to go? Uh, it's ready to go. I just gotta wrap it up and we're good. Alright, so we'll come back and show you what it looks like whenever it's done. <laughs> we are? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know when that's gonna be. Well, how long are you cooking it for? How long are you cooking it for in the oven? I'm not cooking it right now. Oh. <laughs> well, so you're cooking this for dinner? Uh-huh. Oh. All right. Well, we'll come back to you after dinner. Thanks for the great chat, Mr. Chase. Could you tell our audience? See you later. Bye, guys. See y'all later. <laughs> Okay, so for our last activity that we have for Country Club, we are working with a tie-dye kit. I got this one from Walmart, I believe, and it has all of the powder already mixed into the bottles. So all we're gonna do is add some water and then get started. All right, be right back and add the water. All right, we're back. So I've got our Bottles that we filled up with water, we went ahead and shook them. And then you just wanna be careful not to fill it up too, too far because if not, um, it'll start to come out of the side of the bottle. Um, so you just wanna make sure you fill it up kind of like about to um, like the, just this very bottom part right here. Okay, and then the kit came with, um, I think like 10 different tie-dyes. Um, but I just picked the ones that I liked the most. And then also, don't forget your gloves. Um, this kit actually comes with, uh, I think, gloves enough to do three times of tie-dye. Uh, the only thing it said is that you want to be careful if you don't want to use all the colors at one time. Don't fill them up until you're ready to because they only last for about... Um, 24 hours before they start to fade in color and then the kit also came with our rubber bands that we're gonna need uh, we're probably not gonna need all of these rubber bands but we'll just see how much we end up using and then today I'm going to be tie-dyeing socks I got these from Target but you can pretty much use any type of cotton socks that you can find also, if you have old socks that you want to use that you already have, that's perfectly fine too. They should be able to take the color as well. So we have quite a bit of socks today and I think maybe we'll be able to use up most of the tie-dye just because we have 
so many. All right, and there's a bunch of different techniques that you can use. Um, a really popular one is like a crumple one. So you're just going to squeeze everything together, kind of crumple it together, which is kind of what it's named after. And then you're gonna take your rubber band, put it around it, and then try and have it kind of, kind of tight. And then this is just super quick and easy. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. Uh, some people put two different rubber bands to make four little sections on it. Um, I mean, it, it's just really kind of your preference, whatever you want to do with it. So there's our, our first set. We're going to put that to the side. And then I like, I think it's the, the, the folding kind of method to where you just fold back and forth kind of like an accordion kind of thing. And then with this one, you may need more than one rubber band to hold them together just because it makes it a lot longer. Um, and then I'll probably fold this in down as well. Yeah, because anything that you have sticking out is going to take the color. Um, so we'll probably just fold this down one more and add that on. It may look a little different, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this other one since we're doing pairs of the same thing. Okay. Alright, and that one worked out a little bit better to where the, like the ankle part of it is also folded in. And we're just going to use two on that one. So it may work better for the folded one if you try and do it like that. And then let's see what else. I haven't really made any other types of tie-dye. So we may just stick with the, the crumple and then the, the folding method. Okay, so we're just gonna do these for all of them. And then we will start on the tie-dye process. Okay, so unfortunately I did not realize that my SD card was full. So you're gonna miss out on a little bit of the video, but it, it's totally not a big deal. Um, so what I was doing was I was um, rubber banding all the socks, just deciding how and like kind of what kind of te technique I wanted to use. And then what I started off with was using my blue and then just dropping a little bit at a time on each one. And then went back through and did my purple and then my pink. And then I decided not to do all of them with the green, just because sometimes green and pink can turn into brown, and unless that's what you want, um, it doesn't always come out that great if you're trying not to mix them together. So I only did six of my socks in all of the colors, and then the rest that were left over just in the three colors instead of the four. After you're done dyeing them, you're going to want to let them sit for six to eight hours if possible and the color is going to saturate into it to make it as um, vibrant and like more colorful that it can be but if you have enough time you can leave it for 24 hours if you would like to then once they are done you are going to cut off the rubber bands take a look at them and then you are going to rinse them out with cool water and you're not gonna to wanna to wash them with your regular clothes just because the dye can leak onto your other clothing. And you can use a little bit of detergent if you want to, um, and just totally up to you. And I'm so glad we got to do this together today and I cannot wait to see how they turn out. All right, see you later, bye.
I think so. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of cozy. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Yay! Yeah. Cannonball! <laughs>